Hi y'all, um, I'm supposed to be going live right now and I will in a second, but um, I just, I can't move forward. Um, I just, I feel really compelled to say some words about someone who passed away earlier a few days ago and who had such a huge, tremendous impact on my life that I just, I really feel so compelled to say, um, to share some words with you guys. Um, of course, I'm speaking of um, Cece Gunn, the six-figure chick. Um, I have been following her for about two years now. And I was on her email list. I obviously followed her on Instagram. I was a member of her um, digital product society for um for a, for a little bit of time and I was in her six figure army group on Facebook and I have to be completely honest I'm a little bit shocked at how strongly I feel about someone who I never met in person that to me is immediately the first instinct to the point where I just feel like I just, I have to get this off my chest and I have to get this out there. But there's more than one per reason for me doing this video, as I'll explain later on. All encompassing um, just the wonderful, powerful, dynamic force that was so kind and so generous and so real, authentic, that was the six-figure chick, CC Gunn. And once again, I wasn't like, I wasn't, I never got the chance to work so, you know, up close and personal with her. It wasn't like, you know, we were besties or anything. I knew her like most people did through social media. And I can only imagine the impact that she must have had on the people who did know her. Guys, this is someone who spoke of who I know her story. I know her story from, you know, interacting with her like most of you did online. And by the way, if you haven't yet, go take a look. Like, go take a look at your social media, got her social media account. You can obviously look and it'll it won't tell you the whole story and the full scope of who this person was. But I think the first thing that you would notice is that but for the most recent post announcing her passing, there aren't really any pictures of her. Like everything on that account is hardcore information. Like she was all about giving her people tools, like cutting the fluff and getting to like the heart of the matter, which was, you know, making money from digital products on social media. And guys, this was someone who would tip her Instacart driver um deliveries and like her waiter waiters and her waitress is like a hundred dollars you know and she talked about how she literally could not believe the life that she was living and she didn't honestly she didn't do it to brag this was someone who um like started at a job that I believe made, I don't want to get the numbers wrong, but she talked about how she made less than $30,000 at her job. And before my eyes, I watched her do this. She grew her business to first $100,000 a month, hence the six figure chick, and then a million dollars a year. And you just, you don't come across these kinds of people like every day in your life. These are very much like, <laughs> kitty. Um, these are I, like, honestly, like once, uh, once in a lifetime kinds of people and just the incredible heart of this woman. Um, the legacy that she will leave, like guys, she started her business on her phone during chemo treatments, grew it to what I just told you guys. And then gave back so incredibly, not just in all the free information that she gave out, not just in like her, did the, to be in her digital product society guys was $30 a month. That's it. She would have dollar sales all the time. Like her products were accessible 
any like anybody could access her products and you could get so much of her information from her for free you know just by following her and just by interacting with her and guys she replied to my emails personally like i'll never forget like she said hi eric and replied to my comments on instagram herself she did it and you just you don't find that level of authenticity it's it's that's not everywhere you know you just don't and Things like buying, like retiring her mother, you know, paying off her house, paying, putting her brother through law school. Like she donated over $30,000 during COVID, during this COVID pandemic. And I guess the, the part that I want to leave you guys with or how I want to end this video is that like this incredible just person this beautiful soul that was just so much more than the short 35 years that she got to spend on this planet. Um, guys, how many of you guys know who your great, 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 whatever grandpa or grandma is? Like, probably not. Most of us don't. But how much you want to bet that Cece's great, 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 great grandkids are gonna know who she was. Because she, her kids won't have to take out student loans. Her husband's not gonna have to go back, you know, be forced back to work because she took care of them. Apparently, I don't, I, from what I've heard, up until the very last day that she was on this earth. So, I lied, I guess. There's one more thing I wanna leave you guys with I, before I, uh, whew. I promised myself I would not cry. I promised, and I'm 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 doing good. Um, oh, well, because I want to leave it on a good note. But I guess what I really want to leave you guys with is that if there's anything that her legacy and and her, the short time that I got to interact with her and be influenced by her, if there's anything that all of that has taught me, is that like, number one, what's any of our excuse? None of us have an excuse. And number two, we are not promised tomorrow. So make today worth it. Right now, this very moment, you were given this moment for a reason, for a purpose. I know, sorry, <laughs> typical area, cat in the background. And you were given this gift of life. So what are you going to do with it? I am not a religious person by any means, but I'm very spiritual. And at this moment... I just, I can't think of any more fitting words than what we used to say when people passed away back when I was religious. And that was that when you get to heaven, God's going to say, well done, good and faithful servant. And I, I know that that sentiment is true for Cece. So rest in peace. I'll see you on gun. I'll see you on the other side. And thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.